I think it's called. Is that right, Bob? Oh. Wait. Oh, they're gonna laugh so hard when they see my second hat. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert! <laughs> I spoiled it right there a little bit. Uh, I like the Whoa, first we've one. Got you laughing. Oh god. No, no you look great, Chip. Thanks great a hat. lot. Welcome, like Daniel. What were you guys talking? Oh, God damn it! Oh, pick that oh, off! God it's, damn uh, it! Oh. You're right. Then you put the dishes where they're not gonna fall. <laughs> we were. T- <laughs> I just saw that today. You did? Yeah. I was laughing at that part. He's hammering a raging bull. He's hammering away <laughs> oh, on the belt, and the that. dishes so fall. Good. He looks and goes, "Why you suck the dishes?" <laughs> yeah, and then he walked in, and they're like, "Look, it's Bob Kelly. Want a championship <laughs> dollar shift?" <laughs> Oh, you want your steak? Oh, you want your steak? Yeah, yeah. yeah and, then he, and then he goes, uh, 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 you're going to bother me about a steak? And they start, like, fucking arguing. And fucking Joe Pesci comes in. <laughs> and he's, like, oh, flipping so the table. And the fucking carrots go all over. Some people can mm-hmm. really just... describe <laughs> yeah. a scene in a movie. It's like you're right there. It's like you're watching the movie. So, yeah, welcome. Good to see you, Zach. We're going to start in a minute. Great to see you, Chip. Thanks for having me back, buddy. Welcome, pal. And uh, how about you? What's going on, Kev? I'm doing good. I, I get to miss uh, dinner with my wife and kids, so thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. What are they having? That's, that's, they'll probably spill stuff, if you know what I'm saying. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, I try not to hit them, but I forget sometimes <laughs> when they spill milk. Never forget. My mother would always wrap her back her hand across my mouth and go, Chippa, you're so careless. Mm. Give you a rap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One time I dropped snow peas and she hit me in the teeth with a rolling pin. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, why does this smell like sweat? And she goes, oh, mind your manners, Chippa. Uh, Go put that back in Mama's bedroom. Rolling. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, Mets, what's going on? Oh, there it is. I'm, do- I'm doing good. I'll say. So what's got you? What's got your interest later, Bulbs? Later. Oh, God damn it. No, I what? just said... just fix that. So what's caught your eye? I just caught, just, just keep, just. You got said o- caught because I did. I, I got, <laughs> I got over a bad, I got over a bad flu bug. Uh-oh. Oh shit! AIDS. <laughs> yeah, it's That's hard a, to shake that it's AIDS. A bad flu bug, right? It sure there. is. That's why I just give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about your flu. What happened? I get a flu shot no, every year. Was it the uh, front or the back? No, it was, was it just one of those of... that a lot of congestion. Oh. Oh, uh, what was it? What were you fucking? That's called the FDR drive. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> well, go. My guns. nose felt like the FDR drive. Oh, wow. Uh, why? Drunk drivers? <laughs> no, so much crowded with snot. <laughs> oh, oh so much, so I much thought maybe you could see the fireworks from it. It was so much <laughs> snot congestion we and so it. much. So much wait, Bob. Oh. If you were laying on your side, you'd have the FDR drive, and if you couldn't shit, it'd be like the West Side Highway. <laughs> Quick, do a Midtown joke, Zach. <laughs> no, my shits were more painful oh. when I'm sick. Oh. Yeah, wow. I hear you from years of abuse. Mm. No. Nope, that's not what we're talking about. A lot of times I'd go to the doctor. <laughs> Zach, Jim, he got quiet on that one, little Bobo. A lot of times yeah. I'd be on a toilet, and it would just sound like liquid. It would be all red, and my mother would go chip and there's blood in the toilet oh. again. Oh. Wow, that's... <laughs> Did you get that checked? Yeah, that's something that should that's be checked That serious. I, her, her boyfriend must have been feeding me some bad food, because as soon as he moved out, it stopped. <laughs> Man. Really? You guys Might have just been a coincidence, yeah. Chip. I think it was. You Wait, you guys ready to laugh? Oh. Uh, Whoa! Uh, <laughs> fucking funny bulge. Oh, gee. Wipe your mouth. <laughs> It's funny. That's ironic. You're naked in your clothes. Fuck yeah. The irony so thick you could cut I didn't it with even a knife. Think of that. <laughs> Bobo, he's that's on the ironic. Of this Bobo's, shit. he's right on the He's sharp warmed as a up. Tech. He, he sure is. is. Sharp as a tech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show. I see you got your Metropolitan's jersey on. What's that looking like this year? Oh, that will look good. It's only it's only spring training right now. Sure, not of worth discussing. Training. Yeah, so it's only the beginning of spring training. You're only trying to be in shape for the Yeah, I know. Break. Pitches and catches. Pitches and catches, right? Yep. The Grapefruit League. Yeah, it doesn't matter who wins or loses now. That's what they say in April, too, after they've played 20 games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's early. It's early in the season. Yeah, that's what they always say, right? Yeah, oh, we're in a boy. cellar. We're going to be nice and rested by the time that... Uh, June, uh, whatever. What month did they win the Super Bowl? The World Series? <laughs> the World Series. Ah. We'll just need to set you straight. As far as sports goes. October, right? Yeah. Yep, October. Something like that. Rocktober. Hey, we're going to be doing a little roast until you're known for the roasts. Oh, make mine medium rare. Comia, you're burning <laughs> your good stuff. <laughs> we're going to start the show. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh. Cut that part out where I show uh, it. The, the loons. <laughs> the loons are... 
Yeah. Oh, Norman, the TV is shaking. And oh, it's Golden Pond. <laughs> That's the hat. Oh, yeah, I couldn't even kiss Spencer Tracy and guess who's... I'm like, there's a you-know-what in the house in my eyes. I thought there was two of them and we were being robbed, Norman. <laughs> you old poop. Oh, you old poop. Uh, yeah, looking at the inside old... of his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Fonda Henry Fonda Old Cooters If he's hanging out with her Go pick some blueberries You old bag oh. <laughs> How funny would that have been If he had a fucking Man when he don't Burn the house down Hey Billy That kid had a really Great acting career How do you fucking How do you win a triple Oscar winner And you do nothing after Nothing after that's Jesus it. Christ He's like me After the Opie and Anthony show <laughs> Or I should say Jim Norton Jim Norton <laughs> Yeah Cause I'm actually Doing better than he is <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting, Reset. I'm getting hey, confused. I don't know. I've I watched some uh, shows that uh, right out there on the gritty raw streets of New York City. I've seen uh, some shows from you know other people from the ONA show. Oh yeah, those are good. <laughs> yeah, you like oh, those? Yeah, hell yeah. Funny. We're here at Chevy's. <laughs> 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 oh fuck. Hey, Bobo, what's going on? <laughs> I'm doing good. Oh Chip my up. god. Even I'm Chip don't even Chip, Chip don't like him. No, even I, Chip has uh, I, I, some I, I, issues. I realize that, he, that, he Bobo? Did, that these idiots on the plane business are too damn cheap to give damn free soda. That Bobo, <laughs> go with it. Now what? That I was on a flight not that long ago. I had to help out some friends of mine out of town. You had I, to help them out of town. Why? No, they just need to help them with a little. That's why they call him King of the Segways. Yeah, <laughs> but I went, but I'm on the flight, and I thought. And I, 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 I assume they would, sure, they, they would take cash. But I didn't, I didn't have that much money on the credit card. I said you, you didn't have with... enough for a soda on a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. And I thought I was doing bad. <laughs> Jesus, wow. who has a dollar thirty-eight left <laughs> on the credit card? Right now, I, I, the, it, it was a few days before. If a you check. want to purchase I, a half a thing my, of certs, you my, can my, do my, it. My, oh. my check wasn't going to clear until the next day. <laughs> but anyway, I was about to pay with cash, and they told me check go, uh, uh, credit card only, and I said. You motherfuckers are cheap. Oh, on the plane, yeah. on the plane, you the said plane. that. You're going to get said dragged that. off. No, no, that I only got the warning. You're going to oh, go viral. Oh, man, you know what you should have done? If they gave you a soda, you should have said, this is the bomb. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> you can't no, say no, that No, no, no that would have that, that oh. got me on a no-fly list, and I don't want that. I don't want to have to be reduced to having to travel through Greyhound everywhere. Absolutely. Oh, everywhere. Plus, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to have to go on a cruise ship anytime I have to go overseas. That's right. Just because you talk like Rico Rizzo doesn't mean you have to travel like him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bobo, see, Bobo knows about uh, consequences of his yes. actions, unlike unlike his mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Two six packs later, she's like, "I'm what?" <laughs> you know what? I take one Advil during the uh, ninth month. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're Bobo. kidding, of course. Of course, I'm kidding, Bobo. Oh, we got to start the show. Oh, All right. The theme tune. Ready. All right, cool. So we're gonna start the show. I defy you not to rock. Yeah, but dude, <laughs> you just gotta. Hey, hey, thanks. Hey, Wait that? a minute. Put it back. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Let me lead into it sorry. and My make bad, it I'm louder. Sorry. It's all quiet and shiznit. Check. <laughs> make it louder. You ready now? Oh, now. Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go! Wow. You guys ready good. to laugh? Awesome. We're oh, all yeah. ready to laugh. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a great looking wow. hat, Chippa. Naked. Wow. You need. You're, the irony, right? And I got clothes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah, you got clothes <laughs> on. You'd be perfect for Williamsburg. <laughs> Are you calling irony, I think. Oh, irony. Wow. irony. Home run, Daniel. Nice. Right, because they're 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 all they're all fags, but they wear beards like they're not fags <laughs> in Williamsburg. I think we call right. them. Hipsters. I think that's what he means. Hipster. Yeah. Are you saying yeah. I'm a hipster because I got to add? I'm a fucking chipster. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. Nice. Means I'm progressive with humor. That's good. <laughs> that's gonna take off. And other off. things. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> The L train stands for Lyle Chipperson. Now. Fuck yeah, it yeah. does. Oh. And laughter. <laughs> and laughter. And, and a lot late. of sadness removed. Always <laughs> late. <laughs> What's that? And always late. Oh, no. Imagine if a girl's late on a period. You're like, oh, fuck. Oh. I shouldn't have come to the. Has <laughs> <laughs> that ever happened to you? Any false alarms? Oh, fuck so many. You slip one past the goalie? <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah? I'm like, I can't fucking believe it. You didn't tell me you wasn't on a pill. She's like, oh, Chipper, you came on my leg. Sounds like your mom. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's my mom? <laughs> His Come mom. On. Your what? mom sounds so hot, though. That's for real. Wonderful woman. She sounds so sexy. She's marvelous. She's a saint on earth. Saint mm -hmm. on earth. A good lady. Mm -hmm. Very Ruben S. Kevs. What is she pushing now? <laughs> What do you mean? Her weight, she's a little heavy because she was on <laughs> steroids like Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Shit, but don't make fun of him. Does she have a big moon face? No, she doesn't. No. It's beautiful and good to hold. Well, with the, the drugs that Jerry Lewis yeah. had, those steroids, they uh, blow your face up. Yeah, Lamar, I've, I've heard him when they were drunk. Calling her a fucking pumpkin-looking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he hit her. Uh, yeah, he did. Before and after he said it. <laughs> I just heard a dull thwack. I it heard Bob like Kelly thought they were M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> See, he ate a bunch of them. That's why his face went. It's, uh, it's funny, just Bobby Kelly is enough. Bobby Kelly. Yeah, you're right. Damn. So, Zach, you've been in so many trauma films, you start to look like a fucking toxic monster in shiznit. Oh, man, Chip, you got me on that one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Burn. Burn. Are we doing our roast battle, Chip? Sure, we'll roast. Everybody's going to roast. Go on now. roast? All right. Wow. Hold on. Wait, I, I didn't I even prepared write. Only well, because calling. I respect Don't call for you. help. I respect you so much. Wow. Uh, Chip show is on the Riot Cast Network. It's called that because it would be a riot if anyone on the network ever got cast in anything. Oh. <laughs> Don't make no sense. It would, here's what you should have said. A riot cast. What's that? What happens when you fucking break your funny bone? <laughs> That's much better than mine. <laughs> that was a Chip, good I got to get you to do punch up. That's for me. way too that good for Chip. Good oh, one. yeah. I know yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, wait. Someone wrote that for you. No, they didn't. Oh, uh, really? J N? So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe. Jumping. Oh, um, no, wait. <laughs> I'm thinking of your own vernacular. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, fucking Kevin. Too soon. You're so angry you should be fucking shooting up a post office or something. <laughs> That's pretty good. No, because you get mad at the post office. They when the, do. When the line is long. Fuck yeah. Sometimes I wish I had my AR-15. Right? Thank I've you. said that. Thank you, founding fathers. I've said that, too. I'm like, I don't even want to put no stamps on this letter. Uh. Yup, am I right, Chipper? I don't know. <laughs> fucking comic genius, Chipper. Hey, Bobo. Uh. Your dick is so big and juicy, looks like a fucking white watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so believe me, they uh, the the ladies they they, they go to the door, they want to see that package. <laughs> oh, cool! Right back to the UPS thing. I love the Jesus. UPS. Jokes. Ding yeah, dong. My favorite. Yeah. Oh, right. Lamar works for UPS, right? Go ahead, I'll top it. <laughs> oh, just ask it. Doesn't Lamar work for UPS? Yup. You peck a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, he's always talking about his. He's always telling me about your mother. Your mother's a freak. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah? Well, fucking, you like the Mets so much. Maybe Mr. Mets should come over to your house and eat your shit out of a spackle bucket. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of roast is this? This is a little unorthodox. Yes, right? Yep. Uh, Get Mr. Mets on his fucking, his hands, he's like a horse with his hands behind his back. <laughs> and the fuck is just eating your shit like it's a fucking bucket of oats. <laughs> I don't even know what the guy eats. He just always does everything with a smile. All right, cool. Good tag. He fits the bird with a smile. That's a good tag. Fuck yeah. I hit a double and you fucking booted it over the fence. So, Kev, yeah. I heard your fucking car is so old. It's only got an AM radio. And an A track. God damn it. It's got a good sense of humor. <laughs> it's not like you need Sirius XM. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Yeah. Without hope. I mean, uh, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> so hold on. Cut that out. I don't need him mad at me. <laughs> Fuck that. One of his comedy heroes. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So Wait, am I supposed to slam you? Because I wrote a, oh, I wrote go ahead. a slam oh, on go Zach. Ahead. Go ahead, slam him. No, because I, I thought he was an easier target because he's fat. Oh, That's body shit. shaming. We don't go no, for that. No, because fat guys always go, you know, it's just such a sheep shot when you make fat jokes when they're fat. But but don't be fat if you don't, right? That's logical. I would say to Zach, uh, Zach is like, should I be fat or Amish? Why not both? <laughs> Damn. Rump was, wait, did I, have you ever <laughs> got consent sexually? It's occurred sometimes. <laughs> I got one. Forget that. Cut that one out. Watch oh, this. By all means. By hey, all means. Zach. Cut it out. You're so fat, you look like you haven't shitted in 27 years. <laughs> oh, Chip. Can I do one? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Chip's mother, Dolores, is a Rubenesque woman who enjoys the company of African-American men. She's been with so many blacks that her ass is full of sickle cellulite. 
Oh, <laughs> that ain't pretty true. Good. No, does she no. still curl her pussy the Underground Railroad? <laughs> <laughs> no, does yours? Oh, gotcha. Sometimes. <laughs> That's a volley gotcha. them right good back comeback. at you. My mother's been with so many African and men. Boy, Lyle, she sure has a lot of friends. That'd be a good roast joke. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Yeah. You got so many people mad. You're fucking public enemy number one through 55. <laughs> yeah, like that, like that rap group, right? Public, public enemy, enemy. But they were just. Help me out, Zach. Don't just sit there oh. all fat and all. <laughs> <laughs> Fat no, I want it sell chip, but it's like, hey, yeah. wait, it's, it's. But you, you know better. No, but I'm like, I don't want to really, you know. Fuck yeah, well, you come from the king, you better be ready. Help, help me insult this guy. Uh, you know who did it the best? That little Florentine. Yeah, little Florentine. It's like was those great. those glasses oh, fucking... are so ugly that they make you look dumb and stupid. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, fucking Luke. King Joffrey front Florentine, <laughs> his son. <laughs> king Joffrey. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, you have a naked hat. Where'd you steal it from? A, a store? Uh, no, I fucking... I had it... Wait. <laughs> no, I think they got... I think he got oh, it from a Bob, warped you're messing points me from up. drinking naked. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. What'd you say? You got it from a warped points from drinking a lot of naked. Better yeah. than what I had. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. You're going to take that Boom. one? That juice drink. With, the, with, those, with those glasses... It looks like it should be in Where's Dildo? Yeah, and you know where Dildo <laughs> is? I'd say right this. He's fucking stuck up your fucking ass or something. Uh, oh, did it, did oh, he yeah. tough. Can't get there this guy. He's impenetrable. <laughs> he really is hard to... So, Kev, your show's called Burning Bridges. Oh. Should be called Blowing Up Tunnels. Did you steal those glasses from your grandpa's <laughs> wake? No, I did not. Oh, I stole his wallet. <laughs> no, and I can't make jokes about Kumia because he he's my boss. That's fine. I but I will make jokes. make jokes about that fucking moron Keith who works for you. Whatever you gotta do. They hired they just hired a lady and they they keep her they have her keep her shirt on. <laughs> I mean, you're not at CBS. How just, dare just, you? Nobody wants to hear a lady talk. Thanks. <laughs> just Thanks. have her sit there topless. And that I would pay nine dollars for that. That yeah. last topless be. lady they had is suing him now. For real? <laughs> Sandy Kane. <laughs> yeah, fucking, how about this? Keith the cop, he was such a bad cop that he was eating a nice chocolate pudding pop, and they said, what's that? And he said, it's Justin Volpe's nice there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. take her shirt off. You Nobody want wants to hear girls, two girls talk. Bill and, the, Bill and the other gal, whatever her name is. <laughs> So your name is Zach Amigo. Oh, what are you, a fucking Mexican friend or something? Solid, Chip. <laughs> Chip claims to be a real ladies' man, but in real life, his P.E.K.K.A. gets blocked, fills with blood, and he has to pound on it, just like Colin Quinn's heart. Oh, shit! That Way is trouble, Way. Rest in peace, Carl. Oh, no, he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. Oh, thank is he? God, yes. No. Is he okay? Oh, He'll I gotta fucking fine. take those tweets down. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should do that. But damn it. That was advice for you a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking talk about your tweets. Uh, well, I, I I tweet a lot of political stuff and cool and, and some fun shit too, and and I like getting into a Twitter arguments, Chip. Yeah, you uh, you like fucking guns so much, you ought to fucking paint a cooter on one and marry it. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bad point. <laughs> that, isn't, that isn't bad. Yeah. I hear stories how fat people have to pay more when they fly. That's Dude, right. It, it, it's really does, hung up does on being the skinny make you charge less for being too skinny? Valid question. <laughs> that's that's good. It's a thinker. <laughs> Here we go. Fly? He is. It's very. Bubba, uh, you've been flying a lot lately. You have no, a lot of no, flying no, I material. Had to, I had to. I had to help. I was helping some guy from friends of mine out with something. What are you pointing at? Uh oh. I'm gonna call the guest. Al Qaeda. No. <laughs> Why don't you let me do the live? Thing? No, just a couple of friends of mine that are of Italian descent over in Chicago. Oh, oh fuck. Not I'll bet you they like fucking deep Do you have friends pizza. of ours? <laughs> you got some Windy City Guineas. Oh man, Al Capone. Uh, Al just a couple of good, bro couple of good friends of mine. They're two brothers. good fellas. No names, right? No yeah. names. Yeah. They're good respect. fellas. Are friends they of yours. Dishin. <laughs> Fucking like deep dish pizza. Yep. I the Willis guess. Tower. <laughs> yep. The Willis Tower. Bubba's like. No, I got make, a make sure a, I got a, a, a good a, a good fella towers. A good fella carries his one dollar bill with his change on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or how about this? <laughs> oh Christ.
Christ. <laughs> <laughs> if they had, they... Oh my God. You could not have stopped. Have you ever brought a gun? On, have you ever got busted bringing a gun on a plane? No. By accident? No. A lot of people do it by accident. I have. That's pretty silly. Fuck a machine gun. Long story. <laughs> I, I did fly with my gun down to Tennessee once, and it was a big rigmarole to do it. You have to pack it in different things. I just wanted to carry it on the plane and go, hey, yeah. everyone. So in case you didn't have any fucking credit card work, you'd tell us, right. hey, just give me the free soda and take care of the whole row. I like that Boba didn't have a dollar. <laughs> yeah, but honest. credit, how much does your normal credit limit, card. what's your limit lose, like seven fifty? <laughs> no. $8? It was just, it's got no, the it Mets credit card. I, 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 no, I just, uh, I was waiting for a check to clear, that's all. I'm with you, Bobo. Uh, Same cool. thing happens to me. I hope that the fucking $13 check clears, otherwise you're going to be flying <laughs> thirsty, yeah. cuz. Yeah. <laughs> what? Don't leave home without it, or, or yeah. with it. It's useless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, it's the American Express commercial starring Mr. Carl Malden. <laughs> yeah, it is. A little trivia, that's Remember nice him and on the waterfront? Um, oh, he was in that. Yep, played and Michael priest. Douglas. In the streets of San Francisco. Streets remember? of San Francisco. That'll be a different show these days. Sure Let's roll would. on that a while. They'd all be Chip, fuck go. They'll be throwing rice aroni in everyone. <laughs> Can't believe you don't do stand up. That's a great bit. Streets of San Francisco would be a different Nowadays, show. Nowadays. Fuck yeah, they'd all be throwing rice aroni. No, they, they, oh they might as well paint the whole street gay pride flag. Yes. Every day's gay pride in go. Streets of San Francisco. Fuck yeah. Oh fuck my wait, God. they'd all be throwing rice aroni. They'd fucking. Uh, <laughs> Oh, They'd be on streetcars going up and down the hills and shizzing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you walk you walk in every little little hidden alleyway and there's a couple of guys blow there's a whole gay orgy down in an alleyway. Fuck yeah, utopia. <laughs> <laughs> every box you open's got a guy with a pecker in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh Daniel, uh, you're a card. Uh... Good to, it's great to be sitting right next to you. Really great. I, I saw, I saw so many, I saw so many ex acidic Jews on a flight recently. Acidic I said, Jews. acidic Jews, what are they oranges? Acidic Jews. I, I said, a bunch of lemon juice. I, I was throwing Rolades at the yeah. acidic Jews. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I rolled an antacid over them and they disappeared. Said, am I, oh. am Don't I brush headed, your teeth after am that. I, am I headed to Israel or Chicago? I couldn't tell the difference. Ah, yeah, exactly. Nothing worse than an acidic Jew. An acidic. Fuck, yeah, that's how you know how to cold sore. I kissed oh. an acidic Jew and it burned. Acidic Jew. Smoked the Jews in tie-dye. <laughs> 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 don't take the brown acidic Jew. <laughs> oh, Bobo, oh, Bobo, you don't even know what you prices. said, cuz. You're adorable, uh, Bubs. Quite the longevity you've had with the organization. Mm. All the radio shows and the people, yep, they still is, welcome you with open I'm, arms. I'm, I'm uh, celebrating a 10 year Bobo Versary. <laughs> Bobo Versary? You even got a name for What's it. What's a Bobo Versary? Oh, no, it's 2008. <laughs> I, I made my debut, and it's going to be 10 years now. You like wow. Robert Plant? Yeah, of course. Check that out, Robert Plant. Okay. On deepdiscount.com. Oh, Go back. I didn't see that coming. Boy, I should have saw that. <laughs> hey, listen, man. All Josh and his side. Cause I'm about ready to leave this fucking network. You know, Whoa. a great sponsor of chips and a great site to save on all your favorite shiznit. They got couches. They got hats. What? They do? Couches? We say that? No. Oh. They, they don't have that. Hold on. Movies, no, music. Yeah, they got that too. Yeah. M <laughs> movies and music, great TV shows, and a whole bunch more. Go see for yourself. March is their site-wide sale. You just look for the icons and coupon codes for extra <laughs> savings. Don't wait Couches. no longer. Buy your fog favorites right now for a low <laughs> price, and you got them forever, cuz. No need to believe Chipper. Go see for yourself. Oh, God. Like maybe right now you want to see a little Howie Mandel. Remember he used to put that phone. Oh, I'm Bobby. I'm Bobby. Don't shake my hands or I'll cut them off and kick him into the sewer like the kid from It. <laughs> Remember that before he fucking shaved his head, fucking shaved his head in a fucking mentally ill breakdown. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I got a million bucks. I'm gonna wave at you like this from across the street. I'm all crazy and shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no more searching. They got Howie Mandel before he lost his fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a funny hat on Bobby. <laughs> Motherfucker made me laugh. I can't respect comedians who depend on funny hats. Oh Fuck my yeah, god. Fuck yeah, I know. Bullshit. <laughs> right or wrong. 
Absolute bullshit. Fuck Chico. yeah, bullshugger. <laughs> Stop <laughs> wasting time and money. Miko knows I know. Buy what you want. Watch what you want when you want it. Because this shit don't freeze up. One time I was watching Netflix and someone's like, what if it freezes up? Uh-huh. Didn't, but it was possible. <laughs> <laughs> they got all types of music, LP, CD. Go to my homepage, riotcast.com slash chip. Click their logo. This way they know you're a friend of chips and buying stuff because I said so. Are you getting kickbacks on this? Uh. When they oh, put they, in they chip, pay me a lot of cake for these fucking reads, oh, buddy. No, boy, no, me. It's it ain't free. They pay me some. <laughs> it's getting oh, damn over there. It. Do you have to split it with the boys at Riotcast? Because I know they're greedy as fuck. Fucking cake. I do all my blue purchases on the Hold on a second. I ain't done. You got a fucking cake for the chip, I don't believe you, me, Buster. He talks about money. They discount got new releases too. Thor. They got fucking Thor. Guys, the fucking best. Epic adventure spans the Marvel Universe. I heard they're stealing Stanley's money. <laughs> Thor ought to hit that suck hooker in the head with a hammer and take his cash. Hold right. on. Oh, my God. Uh, we need, like, a <laughs> sneeze guard, like, at the salad bar over here. I, I never knew that before. Yeah, you got me. You're talking about money, and it's Fuck just... Fuck yeah, yeah. deepdiscount.com. God, I hope that's spit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go to riotcast.com slash chip and look for special icons oh. and coupon codes. <laughs> All what? through your march oh and even more God. savings. Be good to yourself. Buy your favorites and support my oh. favorite sponsor. Check it out now. Thank you, Deep Discount. <laughs> good read. Yeah. That was good. They'll What's be up, happy babe? With that. Is there any on my chin? A little bit. Yeah, oh. you got Okay, oh, good. Christ. Good job. You should sell that on eBay mm. or something. I do. <laughs> Stanley hey, should make I another take that home. Hey, Stanley should make another clothes. superhero called The Accountant. Oh, his money got stolen. <laughs> I could make a couple of, there's enough chipper DNA on that you could make your own clone of Chipper. Well, you know, it's funny, Barbara Streisand cloned her dogs. Looks like she cloned her fucking nose. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. And taped it on the end. Nice anti Semitism oh, there, Chip. <laughs> Not any anti Semitism. That bitch should be on her hands and knees fucking worshiping an anthill. <laughs> I ain't got no hills. <laughs> Fuck you. More like the wind beneath her nostrils, right, Chip? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, Fucking tip her upside down like a sailboat. McCartney had one, though. Fun fact. <laughs> Seems like a lot of the comedy's on this side of the table tonight, Chip. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, we'll see what the listeners say. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done yet. We aren't done yet. I've <laughs> seen Chip hey, do Chip, a I'm second half turn around. Give our guest a call, yeah. okay? Well, give our guest All a call. Right. This guy's Glenn Calendar. I got to Oh, jeez. Everyone step Whoa. aside. Oh, I bet that guy gets oh, a lot of dates. That, guy, that oh, guy's got God. a huge calendar fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's kind of what I was going to say. Oh, my God. I was going to say he's got calendar bucks. Why would you book Somebody with the name of Calendar on chips. I know. Believe me. Wait do you hear the fucking joke? Oh, it's good. Wait do you hear? Wait do you hear the joke about yeah. fucking Glenn Calendar? Just I, I step bet. out of the way. It's step out of the way. It's all. It's all worth it. Oh my god. That's a good one. What does he do? Oh, here he is. Hey, 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 Glenn Calendar. Yeah, Chip. How you doing? If I was any better, it'd be a sin. <laughs> what? I wish I could show it to you, but uh, I can't over the phone. All right, listen. Just to get it out of the way, Glenn Calendar, I got to say, I bet when you were growing up, people gave you a hard time and they'd say funny shit like, hey, it's Glenny 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Glenny 12, but something. <laughs> Wait, is, is, from the sounds here, it sounds like February is not your favorite month. <laughs> Oh, February is great. You February is great. Said? Good. I'm sorry. Uh, you were very quiet a bit ago, and I couldn't really hear you, but now I can hear you. So good. All right. Oh, you got it. Because no, he sounds white to me. I don't know. Yeah, Glenn Callender. Oh, I'm, I'm white. He's yeah. a Canadian, and they're against. Uh, you're against circumcision unless it's for a baby or something, right? <laughs> what? No, I'm against circumcision unless it's for a consenting adult. Exactly the opposite. Oh. I, I think children oh. have a right. I think children have the right to not have. Parts of their bodies cut off. That's a good tip. <laughs> yeah, that totally is. The foreskin, like the foreskin is an excellent tip, actually. It's got thousands of nerve endings. It's oh. very, very enjoyable. Do you have one? That, that, uh, 
foreskin has some I, nerve. You don't mind me asking, do you have a foreskin chip? Yeah, can we take a, a poll around I'll the room? Sh- hey, hey, only if it's uncut. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. All right, let me ask you a question. Why do they call it a foreskin? Why not a five, six, seven, eight, or nine skin? <laughs> Keep going, Chip. <laughs> the foreskin. How about an well, 11 so skin? The, the, <laughs> the word is actually from the, the Latin word prepus, which means for pre, meaning the beginning or the front, and puce meaning skin. And then that got translated into foreskin. Oh, pre In English. Oh. pre poos Jim Norton dates a lot of women who are pre poos Yeah. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> damn skippy. <laughs> Once they're post poos Jim breaks up with them. <laughs> you heard what I said? He's a pecker sucker. All right, listen. All kidding aside, Glenny. Talk at me here. I had a foreskin, but I never washed it. A little mug just shriveled up over the head. <laughs> That's too bad. No, you gotta wash. You gotta wash all your body parts, including your foreskin. So you're fucking from Canada. You groups called CanFap. Yes. Wait. The God, Canadian Foreskin God. Awareness Project. Step oh. aside. <laughs> Bet you don't know. Circumcised? That. Who? Wait. wait, wait Not me. Do it. Does he have any kids? Hold on. This CanFap. I can't let. Do this I have go. any kids? No, I don't have any kids. Okay, then. Then what are you even talking about? I have Uh-oh. kids, so I'm supposed to wait till he's 18. And then cut his dick in half. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, that's ridiculous, you cock. Trust yeah, me, man. It won't taste very, the same. very few boys grow up to be eighteen-year-old men and say to themselves, "You know what? I have too much cock. I gotta have some of this cut off." Hell it's yeah, not Jim Norton said I don't have enough. <laughs> what if they're doing porno? You know, that that foreskin looks. Uh, Ridiculous in porno, don't it? Yeah. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, no. Come on. Some of the most famous porn stars of, uh, of all time have a foreskin, and we're very successful. John Manu- Holmes Manuel is Manuel Ferrara uncut. is one. Multi-time performer of the year. Johnny the Great Rod foreskin. Holmes. Rocco Sofredi had a foreskin for most of his career. He got it cut off about 10 years before he retired, and he totally regretted it. Why did he get it uh, cut so off? No, of course. If you look at the Euro Damn. porn... The foreskin is there, and it's oh, great. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Hey, Harry Broads, too. Let I can me... barely come when I watch those <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous cocks. Yo, let me ask you a well, question. The, the thing you... is that it's, uh, uh, there's actually more problems with stuff like erectile dysfunction in circumcised men. Because you ain't kidding. The foreskin is moving the foreskin back and forth. is actually uh, the, the natural mechanism that an intact man uses to get and maintain an erection. If you cut that off, a guy has one fewer way... To get a heart on. Right. You ain't right. be kidding. inside of vagina. My, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my pecker functions like a fucking wet VCR. I, I will let. <laughs> my son's five. He's having no problems coming. Ew, <laughs> I'll let the w- v- vaginal walls take the place of the foreskin. <laughs> Not a foreskin. Well, to, know, rub, the, to rub, rub on it. The vaginal wall. The vaginal wall and the foreskin are meant to actually stimulate each other, right? The foreskin isn't isn't an accident. No, yeah. All mammals have got them, male it's and female. Up. And uh, the foreskin is there to stimulate it. And you know ribbed condoms, right? You've heard of ribbed I've condoms. I've made fun of them, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've joked with well, them. A ribbed, ribbed condom is actually, a ribbed condom is actually a simulation of a foreskin. Like when, the, when a foreskin pulls back, there's these soft wrinkles on oh, the shaft of the penis, right? You're not, you're not doing any justice. Stimulate the vulva. You're not doing any justice right? for your foreskin, cause. It's like selling wearing it. a condom. Yeah, that it, it, it feels like you're wearing a condom. Yeah. No, you know it what's... doesn't. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But when a circumcised man is wearing a ribbed condom, he's actually wearing an artificial <laughs> foreskin. Let me ask you. Because a penis question. with a foreskin oh. feels better. It's supposed to. Those oh, wrinkles are supposed to be there and stimulate those the can't get vulva. Let, let Chipper ask you a question. Because one time yeah. when I was a boy, I had my foreskin and he. Oh, the kids can be cruel. Uh, they used to put <laughs> hornets in my foreskin and tape it mug shut. Oh, hornets. that sounds cool. Hornet? Yeah, and then they'd shake me up. <laughs> that would really hurt. You got to watch it, though. My mother's friend Lamar plays basketball, and I can smell his foreskin when he's walking up the driveway. <laughs> yeah, if you don't wash your penis, it'll stink. That's true if you are circumcised or if you are in death. <laughs> so you got to wash your crotch. All of you listening out there, wash your crotches, folks. Oh, yeah. It's important. So it's like ask, turkey jerky. <laughs> my mother would always threaten to circumcise me if I didn't eat my supper. <laughs> Vegetable, that's right? A, that's yeah. a serious threat, you know. Let me oh, ask geez. you a question, though. All kidding aside, you still got your skin, babe, yes or no? I still have my original foreskin, yes. I'm very attached to it, and it's very enjoyable. You don't know what you said. Where are you keeping it? In the fridge? I keep it on the end of my penis. It's where oh. it's always been. So let me ask you I always question. know where to find it because it's always there. Hold on a second. Glenny, 12 months. Let me ask you something. <laughs> uh, guys are tr- trying to regrow their foreskin. Is that possible? <laughs> yes or no? Yeah. It, well, it is, it, is par- it is possible to partially 
restore what you what was taken. If you like take the necklace. skin that you have left, if you take the skin left on your penis and you stretch it Ridiculous. for a couple of years, I do, but I stretch it, it down. It will stretch, and you will get back uh, sort of a new foreskin. It isn't the same as the foreskin that was cut off. Like you lose all the nerves that were cut off when you were a baby are gone for good. You're never getting those back. But when you have a new foreskin, you know, by stretching, you still get back the coverage of the head of your penis. So the head of your dick goes back to being nice and smooth and, and sensitive. When in a circumcised dick, it dries up and it becomes sort of calloused and loses sensitivity. Can I, can so I mean, you still get back. Uh, you st- and so you get more. You will get more enjoyment out of your penis if you restore your foreskin. Because sure. I've been stretching my skin, but I've been just only stretching it down. A little mug looks like a turkey neck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Looks you know, like you can just sit, when you're watching TV, you can just you stretch it. You know, when watching sitcoms or whatever, you can just oh, yeah. grab your, your dick I skin do. in your hand. Just watching just the Golden Girls. At, f- at family events. Yeah. Can you put a weight on the end of it and kind of just let it yeah. pull? Wait, yeah, do you well, mean a weight? Hold on. Way hold on, on, hold on, hold on. It's kind of, a, kind of a two metal balls with a with oh, a kind of a connected no. metal ball. And you, and you put one metal, metal ball on the head of your penis. You push it in, and then you pull the shaft skin down on top, and then you... you you, you, you stop, you know, you, you hold it there. And then, yeah, you, the, the weight of it will, will stretch the foreskin. So, yeah, there are ways to do it with weights. You can do it with sort of an elastic strap, or you a can do it with, with a device that sort, of, <laughs> that sort of stretches it just in, a, in the device itself so you don't a need extra or? kind of stuff. <laughs> Go ahead, There's, there's a whole bunch of part. different ways to, oh. to, uh, to do it. A guy came into my booth. I do a foreskin yeah, awareness booth. <laughs> and never heard that And term a guy came used. in, and he'd been in his garage, and he basically got kind of a sprocket thing, and he just taped it to the end of his dick. A sprocket? <laughs> I just hung it. Like, it was just a, Wait, just a tool on. from the wall of his garage. Wait a minute. And he restored his foreskin just that way. So there's lots of different ways to do it. Wait, you can even figure out your own method. Hold on a second now, if you don't mind. Glenn, June, July, August, let me ask you a question. The guy put sure. a sprocket on his pickup. What happened? Was it like a bike riding sprocket or some other kind of sprocket? <laughs> what? A sprocket. Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Was it the kind of sprocket that's on a 10-speed bike? I ate a Huffy when I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. It's the kind you put on a big wrench that you crank, you know? Oh, uh, 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 like a, a ratchet? Yeah, that shit was yeah, magic. Yeah, one of those attachments you put. I don't know the the tools in the in the, the very well, but yeah, it's a sort of attachment you put on those crank wrenches. I, yeah. I think he means that's what he hung on. Joint, it was, it was literally, a, that ain't how it feels. A ball joint. <laughs> I got to tell you something, though, here. Uh, You talk about from a guy's point of view. Feels better, this, it's supposed to be there. But a lot of the girls I've spoken to in my uh, many years of uh, sexual prowess. They all like, uh, they they, they, (laughs) (laughs) They... They go, ugh. They see the uncircumcised penis uh, in pictures of movies. No, they would do that when you say eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're just afraid of what they don't know, right? If you go over to uh, Europe, the women uh, think the Europe, circumcised penises are weird Europe, and creepy, Europe. right? They left Europe. And the thing is, is that it's really easy to change it, women's mind. I've been with plenty of American women who were nervous or oh. weird about foreskin. And yeah. they very quickly, once you show them how it works and what oh, to do with it, they go, hey, this is really works. cool. Like, what does that they mean? realize, hey, this is, you can do a bunch of more fun stuff you with, a, with an intact in penis with a voice. <laughs> yeah. So, no, they, they will change their minds when they actually, actually learn what a foreskin is about. And that's what I do with the Canadian Foreskin Awareness Project is I teach people about the, the anatomy and the function of the foreskin but and how, how it's a pleasure organ. Don't babies and like when it? women find out, hey, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can, you can give pleasure to a guy with Walk a foreskin, in. most of them think that's really cool, oh. and they change their mind about it as soon as they understand that it is a pleasure organ, and it's a big deal. How many times make... are you going to say pleasure organ? <laughs> no, pleasure, Wait, can pleasure I share, organ. Can I share oh a question uh, sure. from a... John from a Lords me- played the pre- pleasure organ. From a medical... <laughs> from a medical... Oh. John Lords. Yep. Who's from that? a health... Do I need a keyboard player? I don't know. Yeah. I was from... thinking Liberace. Oh, that's good. He sat on a medical. Right. Right. Isn't it isn't it healthier to get the to get him circumcised? That's what oh, our doctor point. said. Yes. That's true. No, Dr. No, that's Vinny totally Gutierrez. a myth. Live under um, it? Again, if you go over to Europe, yeah, where the men have the their gerbil. foreskin, their their sexual health and that of their female partners is as good or better than circumcised North Why Americans. Better? No, that my doc, that that was made up. Like, I, we had a Jewish doctor, so we I trusted her, and she said. <laughs> yes. She said that it's for health reasons. It's better to get him circumcised, and this is in at Los Angeles. That's because you had kids not, put itching That's not really in true. It. I mean, it's like it's like saying but you're not a doctor, hey, if you right? Pluck off, look at it like this: if you pluck out one of your eyes, 
I don't your it. chance of getting eye cancer has gone down by 50%, right? Yeah, where'd you go to med but, school, though? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I didn't go to med school, but you don't have to go to med school to understand. Oh, that's my case. That oh, these are don't medical pluck your myths. eye out. You won't be able you to see. see. There's a billion-dollar industry Is your story going to end with skull fucking? Skins, right? <laughs> so you pluck the eye so, out. So you skull fuck Americans someone. Americans want to this? believe they're healthier, but the truth is European men are just as healthy as oh. Americans. You know what, Glenny? I'm with you. Their sexual health is just as good. I'm they with you. I wish I wasn't circumcised. I was doing. I would did it when I was like 14. Oh. Ooh. You, you got circumcised at 14? I know. <laughs> Why? Because my mother said my pecker was unsightly. I would run around the house making train noises. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's terrible. That's, that's not good. That well, it must be a very traumatic memory for you. The other kids would make fun of me, and they would do all kinds of goofy gags on me with my foreskin. And they do make fun. What about bullying? Like yeah. in school, uh, a lot of kids would go, hey, anteater, and uh, stuff like that. You hey, know? Europe. It, it, well, right. yeah. Europe. Thing. Actually, most like I was, a, I was one of the only oh. kids with a foreskin in the locker room oh, when I went through school, and I was never bullied. And actual, oh, the, yeah, they, mo- they made fun of your bullied. last stupid no, name. But, but you're from Canada. They're nice. They had a lot of calendar yeah. jokes to go to. They never got to the fucking, uh... Yeah, they were too busy going like... Oh, no, oh, no, no. Anyway. Actually, in America, um, <laughs> I've, I've met plenty of, of men who say that they were bullied, but days. I would say more of them said, no, I wasn't bullied. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, what, if you go over to England, it's a circumcised uh, kid is, is the one who gets bullied because he's different. It's not about really being, uh, you know, having a foreskin or not having a foreskin. It's just whether you you're left. different from... The other kids, we left right? England. You can be bullied because you're a different skin color, because you, you wear glasses, or because you have a foreskin. That's why we left that, England that you for the right be to be circumcised. It's not really a reason not to do we it. We landed and on even Plymouth in America Cock. now. The circumcision rate now <laughs> is 50, about 56 percent. And the right? Indians took care of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. no. Sure. Nowadays, Thanks. hold on a second. Let's nowadays, slow down. there's lots of, in any slow locker room. There's going to be lots of kids that have a foreskin and lots of kids that don't. So there's not much bullying anymore. Diversity is our greatest strength as far as penises go. Coach would always come along and put his finger oh. in someone's foreskin, and he'd make the circle motion. Oh, 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 oh. When I had foreskin, what I used to do is I used to like pull all the wax out from under it and make up little balls and flick them at the glass. Yes. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, you didn't. There's no wax under the foreskin. Not the ears, yeah, there is. Chip. I would leave these little it. these little things on my bedroom window. It smelled like <laughs> belly buttons. Yeah, isn't there something called smegma? Yes, there is a thing called smegma. It's just, you know how um, you know how when you wake up in the morning, there's yep. a bit of goop in the corner of your eye. It's called cum, right? <laughs> that's, no, it's no, called that's what room. happens when the guy shoots in your and, eye. And that's the same thing to the eyeball that smegma is to the penis. The penis is actually a self cleaning organ. So what? It yeah. cleans yeah. itself, and all you need to do is give it a little rinse. Yeah, if you put right? it in the cleaner, just like a your girl's eye. Mouth. <laughs> What? And so, yeah, smegma, smegma is the, the, a part of the natural process of the, you know, the mucous membrane. Yeah, but membrane without, without, without a foreskin, you wouldn't have a problem with the smegma. It ends up on the, you know, the inside of your underwear or the sheets. Well, you don't have a problem even if you are intact. I mean, it takes one second to, to wash it off. One second right? more no than problem. you would have to do something without the foreskin. I'm just saying, No, you know. but it's an enjoyable one second. Do I mean, you? you're cleaning your penis. Haven't you noticed it feels good to clean your penis? Do you, you have to clean? It's not like an inconvenience oh. to clean your foreskin. It's the most sensitive I'm, part of your whole body. It's really enjoyable. I have rush. never felt inconvenienced cleaning my foreskin. Hold on. So. One person at a time. Oh. Everybody's yelling. We got like a five skin going here. You know? Uh, <laughs> Uh, baby, ask a question. Funnier You're hungry. You first Do you have to? I'm hungry. Do you have to wipe your penis and clean Fuck it yeah. every time you pee? Always got shit on mine. Because Ooh, you guys, idea. don't you just jiggle it a little bit? You jiggle mm-hmm. it yeah, just, just a little, little bit. bit. I don't wipe yeah. when I'm done making number two. Well, it's the same no. thing when you're intact. You pull. Uh, I mean, if you want, you can leave your foreskin forward and pee through your foreskin, which feels nice. Uh-huh. But then you do want to rinse it after because now you'll have pee on the oh, inside of your foreskin. That's a lot of work. But you can just pull your foreskin back. You just pull your foreskin back a bit, and you pee just the same way as a circumcised guy does. What if you lie oh. on your back? Change anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like urination is not a problem. Okay. Urination, you damn skippy we are, America bucko. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one all day. That is a good one. He knows it. Oh. He knows it. So when you was a kid, what would they say about your name? About my name, Glenn Calendar. I mean, they, I, I had a good one with Glenny, uh, Glenny, Glenny. Twelve months. Glenny what would they, twelve months. Yeah, you guys are you? metric. Do you have months or what do you have up there? <laughs> well, yeah, we have the same months as you. 
<laughs> right, American months. Same what? time, same time system. What would they uh, call no, you? No, on my name, Calendar. No, I had uh, I people. I mean, occasionally someone would go like, "Hey, Calendar, what's the date?" But you know, that's not really very clever. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, when he tells me, was that right. most, most right. of my parents were teachers, right? And so as I grew up, my parents were usually in my school. Like, I had either one or the other parent in my school oh, wow. for all but two years in my tough. education. <laughs> and I got I got bullied because my parents were teachers. That was right. what the problem was. It wasn't my name. Hell yeah. And all this, I used to go, hey, teach. And I'd throw spitballs and things. A tough, <laughs> tough guy. Yeah, I wore a leather jacket. No, You're I had Vinnie to be pretty good kid because, uh, you know, when your parents are Vinnie teachers, my, my teacher would just talk to my parents after class if I'd been misbehaving, and I would get oh. shit right away. Damn. So I, I had to be pretty good. Misbehaving? <laughs> You're under a lot of surveillance so, when, you're, when you're parenting. What month was she misbehaving? <laughs> Keeps Fox. trying to stretch the other kids' cocks. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with foreskin, though. That's what I always say. Oh, well, that, a lot of times at a party, I'll say that. Man. No, but his point For was... Well, you, women don't mind, but you got to explain it. Like, the last thing you want to have to do when your cock is out oh is Oh, my do, God. It's not explaining. It. Right. Exactly. No, 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 be it ver- can be very, very, very nonverbal. Right. Yeah, you don't want to explain ah. stuff. Hi, I'm Chippa. And then she'll wake up. <laughs> it's not a problem at all. In fact, women, I find, are very interested. If I'm like, hey, you want to see how this I works? I want like, yeah. interesting going on. And you can make it sexy. There's no reason every why you can't girl, make it Every girl in lesson. the room right now is shaking her head. You want to make it There's sexy? There's only one girl you in the room. You put cocaine under the foreskin. Peel it back. Go ahead. Sniff that, you rotten bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's way more complicated. I mean, if you sleep with a woman and, and, and you want her to tell you what you're into I'm or what fuck- she likes, it's way more complicated than talking to a guy about his foreskin, right? Well, I guess that could be a little true. I tell them what I like. complicated species. Oh, All cares right, listen. what the girl likes. Glenn, what's the website? Plug <laughs> the website. The website is... Uh-oh. You're breaking up. Uh-oh. Now breaking up. That guy's no luck. It's can dash. Would you shove your phone in your net. foreskin? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got yeah. a signal in there. Yeah, well, you Can you hear me now? Around the- <laughs> hold on. You, you, hold on, guys. You wrap your foreskin around a phone? <laughs> Hold on a second. I can't. Glenn, tell me. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. We're losing you, Glenn. Oh Hang up. This, this guy has can't no hear luck. Him. Glenn, we could not hear you, but I'm going to plug the website because he was a good sport. Oh, very good. Thank you, God. Thank you so Glenn. Hold on. Glenn. We can't Glenn hear Callen, you, buddy. Right. It's www.can-fap.net, C-A-N-F-A-P.net. And it's Glenn Foreskin on Twitter. <laughs> One N, Glenn's That's, Foreskin. Is it for real? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to follow him. Glenn Calendar oh, yeah. with two L's oh, in Calendar. One in L. Pictures of his Foreskin all day. What's that? Do Does you want to see pictures it? pictures of Foreskin on his account? No, no. Why, he has a big peck of jerk off He's very respectful. <laughs> no. He's he's an advocate <laughs> for foreskin. That's all. Yeah, yeah, I know. But the name that name sounds like something that uh, it sounds like a an account that would tweet nothing but foreskin pictures. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, you're right. dude, worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> can I can I do a quick psychological analysis of that whole fucking situation? Sure. The guy obviously uh, has his foreskin. Got his it. parents didn't get him circumcised. That's right. He was always a freak. Because he had he had his uh, foreskin, it's uncomfortable to have to explain it to people. But he's either too scared to get a circumcision now, or he's so attached to it as being a part of his body that he doesn't want to do it. But he's so jealous. You think of people that are circumcised and have no recollection of it because they were kids? Yeah, I you don't could know. Tell. I, I feel oh. like he, you know, is 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 one for the cause. Like it's it's oh, it's, it's the, the cards. cause. What does he have to it's do? It's the cards that he was. I'm <laughs> going to rape your foreskin. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Put cards this that pill he was in the tip of your dick. Wait, 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 wait I got it. Oh, I got oh, it. Oh, oh. oh, the pudding pop looks like the foreskin, <laughs> and it's just that. <laughs> it's great. How much? Spot how on. much do you lose off the tip of your dick when you lose your foreskin? Isn't it just m- millimeters or Two whatever feet? the word I'm not looking a lot. for? It's fucking what? It's nothing. An inch and a half. It's an inch. And it's not an inch most. and a half. Is no, it? Not it's even. just a little bit off the uh, top. Bit they off. cut yeah, mine off the much. bottom and then just stretched it down, <laughs> included. <laughs> it's got to go over. It's about the same size as like an umbilical cord when they cut the belly button oh, falls off, right? God. That little nub. Yeah, leave it on. Don't let him cut that off either. <laughs> Go around with every fucking piece of your organs hanging out. 
Oh, I pink socked and I just walk around with it. Carry your mom's placenta in a cooler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People eat them and they turn them into teddy bears. Yeah, make a they placenta soap, hat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You should get them as a sponsor. I would love to. <laughs> hey, let's see. Uh, maybe, yeah, couldn't be any worse than the fucking people that get me now. Thank God for deepdiscount.com. <laughs> yes. We They're the only ones discount. that care. Yeah, yeah. So I guess you guys all uh, don't have your foreskins. Nope. No. We're Got any news before civilized we Civilized human fucking beings is what we <laughs> That's are. That's right. And my cock's beautiful. Jesus I'll say Christ. it is. I've seen that mug at the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> As you mentioned before, Barbara Streisand uh, cloned her dead dog twice. If I could clone anyone, I'd clone a lady with big fucking tits. Hey. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Go to the next story. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a family shocked over the porn that was playing at Burger King. Damn, talk yeah. about having it your way. Give me two <laughs> off beef patties and a drooling cooter. <laughs> I'm just riffing. No, it's... You must have seen this before, and that was too juicy to... Porn in a fucking... Uh... Someone what... take his riff sheet. <laughs> oh, what, what Burger King is this? I might want to go to that. Oh! It's well, in yeah. Michigan. Do they have it's drive through I want to know. Yo, you could... Uh, <laughs> can you imagine being there? You'd be like... Damn, the Burger King is up there licking Wendy's tits and shit. <laughs> uh, 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 bet she's got sesame seed buns. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hold my pickle, hold the lettuce. Get it? <laughs> nah, let's go Special to- sauce, da- right? Uh, no, 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 hold up. Uh-oh. Yo, let's go to McDonald's. At least Ronald won't be playing with his pecker. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, I already we'll said go to the phones. Oh, no, no phones. Go to the- <laughs> if I was a kid at Burger King and it was porn, I'd be like, yeah. yo, ma, we ought to eat like fucking 25 meals a day here and shit. <laughs> I'd expect Good this one. from Jack in the Box. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, nice. there you go. Yeah, but my mother would say, oh, Chip, I'll stop with the smut talk. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's the joke. Cut out I'm there going. it is. Cut How about that Jack in the and... Box line and put mine uh, in there and put his after. <laughs> Sounds good. Something with in and out Burger. Something with oh, in and out. Oh, in and right? out Burger. Yeah. That's like a fuck thing, What's right? What's the next story? Mm-hmm. The next story is K- doing it animal style. <laughs> KFC says FCK in a full page ad apologizing for the chicken shortage recently. Damn, they lost it. Wait, that's yes, like going to Home Depot and the guy's like, "Yeah, all our lumber got eaten by termites." <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pitch pitcher going to a carrot store and ain't got no carrots. <laughs> Who wrote these? Will Sylvans? <laughs> <laughs> These could, this could take a while. <laughs> I got a bunch of uh, I bet you do. Yo, man, they should have chicken at a chicken place. One year was my fucking birthday, and me and my mom went to get a bag of turkey gizzards to give out to all the kids, but the fucking store didn't have it. And they should have. The place <laughs> was called Jeff's Turkey Gizzards. Jeff's <laughs> Jeff's turkey gizzards didn't have no fucking turkey uh, I was just thinking that. There's the yeah. joke. All they were selling There's was whipped cream. There's the joke. Go on now. Uh. What we got? Women are now tying the knot with trees. Damn. Oh, wow. They get married to a tree? That's oh. right. Let me rest for a second. I'll bet you the tree for the honeymoon's like, let's just stay right here. All bark and no bite. <laughs> ah, trees, they should keep marriage to twos. Yeah. All the trees. Zach, what do you got? Because I'm gearing up for a home run. It's really going out on a limb. Oh, well, I, guess, uh, I guess you could, I guess they find trees that know how to hold an erection, literally. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. That was tremendous. Yeah, that's tremendous. They I can, just said that. I, 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 they didn't oh, hear it. Oh, shit. They just stealing it. I'm <laughs> double downing on it. Oh, hey, what? hold on. What? Yo, the lady would look at a bunch of bees and go like, yo, that's my husband. Quit building a nest in his fucking butthole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, that's... That was a long walk. Yo, we, could... Yeah, we should just leave this story alone. Yo, could you could you imagine? Tino, so you, know, you know what he said. Leave. Oh, yeah, of course. Walk, yeah. Can you imagine that ceremony? Be like a uh, priest, like yo, uh, you could kiss the bride, Mister Oak. And all of a sudden, he's got sap leaking. Everybody's like laughing because he's jizzing all over his <laughs> stuff and shit. That sounds like the wedding day. One of Bobo's one of Bobo's jokes. Go ahead. <laughs> Talk about the couple eating the adopted pig. Oh, what's the next story? A couple uh, adopts a pet pig from oh, an I animal shelter. I thought I heard about that on the radio a minute ago. Only to kill and eat her. Oh, Damn. That's like Maybe. Woody Allen. Why? Did they finger it first? Take <laughs> 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 that Woody Allen of cannibals. Oh, he adopted it so he could fuck it and eat it. <laughs> What happened? Well, it's not illegal, apparently, to kill what? your own animal and eat it in, in Canada. Canada. Yeah, but keep yeah. the foreskin, oh, right? Right, right. <laughs> I ain't so thick. Oh. What were they smoking up there? Crack. 
You know what? Maybe those people just made a mistake and ate it. Because I seen them in the park and they were taking their salad for a long time. <laughs> they mixed it up. Yeah. Yo, I bet that pig <laughs> felt so scared and betrayed when they started hitting it with a hammer. Oh, God. <laughs> they they would. They would feel they had to be. The pig would be so happy, be taking uh, home and shit, and the next thing you know, he hears the stove go on. He's like, yo, what's going on in there? <laughs> Who's bringing home the bacon? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet you the pig got all suspicious and shizzed it when the plates were out. He's like, I didn't see nothing going in the oven. <laughs> I and see this, eggs, hash browns. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, he's getting a fucking knife walking towards him. He's like, oh, no. I heard about this. <laughs> he must have been so scared, oh, felt so betrayed. Poor, poor guy. Maybe. He knew it was coming. Yeah. My he mother did. ate a bird because her and Lamar and Reggie were in the bedroom, and they kept telling her to fucking swallow a cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's all worth it. It's all worth it to be here for that one. <laughs> Uh, did their meal talk back That's, at them? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, fucking parrot said something. Oh. Uh. <laughs> What's the next story, babe? Don't be shy. Uh, there's a new fitness trend called plogging. It keeps both Wait, hands. wait, what? It's called plogging. Holy oh, what is shit. that? Plugging? I just need to pull the wire in and out? That's an easy workout. Uh, I got. I should start that. Well, hold on. You know what? <laughs> There you go. Oh, thank you for that. That's plogging. Plogging. Uh, plogging is actually something that you do while you're out running. You stop to pick up trash, and then you shove it into various places on your body. So shove it up you... the cunt? <laughs> oh, look, she's if plogging. Oh, look, a dildo. Oh, yeah. look. Luckily uh, for me. Uh, look, she's shoving two banana peels in her cunt. She's <laughs> plogging. That's been my uh, love life, my whole... Uh, the whole time I've existed on Earth, stopping to pick up trash. <laughs> hey, I guess I can get a good workout at the dump now. Yeah, right, yeah, go home right. and fuck some garbage. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, next story, babe. My last babe. story here is there was a man, uh, he drunk drove his horse onto the freeway. Oh, I didn't hear about that, no? man. Jesus. One time when I was a boy, I had a pony, and I was drunk, oh. I threw up on its neck. <laughs> so is this Matthew Broderick's second fatal accident? <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> well, what was it again? A horse? Yep. The drunk, horse was drunk? But, yeah, no, the man was Damn. drunk and he took his horse onto and, the freeway. Uh, he was riding his horse drunk. And how the cops come? They say, hey. Hey. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, no, damn. It was like the Lone Ranger. High old core silver bullet. <laughs> Luckily, the horse was unharmed. The sound guy's yawning. Yo. Wow. <gasps> no, he's not. He's hoping for some peckers. <laughs> Let me ask you a no, question. He was thinking about how, or uncircumcised? He was thinking about how big how big of a pecker that horse had. Fuck oh, yeah. Wow. The finger makes it all worth it, folks. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You don't? Well, what, what's that? Yeah, you go first. Uh, you, you, you shouldn't get on the freeway. He should have just stayed on Main Street. <laughs> now you spell M-A-N-E. M A N E, babe. Joe the plumber. I didn't know the spelling had to be. <laughs> yup. But you know what? All uh, kidding aside, if we want a horse and you're drunk, are the cops allowed to shoot the horse in the head? <laughs> no. Kill it? No. You ever seen The Godfather? Oh, yeah. How do you not notice a fucking horse head in your bed? <laughs> that guy must have been a good sleeper. <laughs> I got apnea. <laughs> they had to put it in. They didn't even leave it on top. They went under the covers. Yeah. yeah. Turn around in silk sheets. Yeah. Someone had to yeah. open the door. Who had to carry the horse head, get blood on their shoes? And how did they not wake up the guy? That's exactly the point I didn't think of. Talk more about it. <laughs> I would assume they drugged him somehow. Earlier in the evening, so when he went to bed, he was like drugged out. Sounds yeah. like you've done something similar. <laughs> sure has, if you know what I mean. But he fucked the horse instead. My <laughs> <laughs> mistake. Yeah. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Adon. Adon. Listen, man, this has been great. Zach Amico, love you on the show. Thank plug, you, Chippa. Plug what you plug in your trauma film. Twitter and Instagram at Zach is not funny. My new movie, Return to Newcomb High, Volume 2, is screening uh, now. Uh, Chip, when does this air? This airs Sunday night tonight. Then you can come see us uh, <laughs> this Thursday night in Los Angeles at the La Emily Theater at 8 o'clock, and then we have a week-long run at the NoHo Theater. NoHo, uh, that's what we call... Uh, uh, <laughs> that's go, when a go. fucking a pimp... <laughs> fucking pimps I got fucking... His hoes are all gone. He's got no hoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Compound Media. Oh, yeah. CompoundMedia.com. Uh, Artie and Anthony, uh, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Monday through Thursday. I'm glad you said PM. I thought that was something else. Photo request. Okay. <laughs> Four to six. <laughs> <laughs> Go on now, Kevin. When's your show? Kevin Brennan, 666 on Twitter. Everything's there. Compound Media, uh, Burning Bridges uh, for now. And <laughs> we Keith, never know. Week till Keith week. sees this. Everything's on my Twitter, Kevin Brennan, 666. You, you, your turn, Bobo. I appear on various shows on Compound Media, <laughs> Artie and Anthony, Crime Report with the very talented Pat Dixon, and the Eastside Dave show with the very. With a guy who's something else and always energetic, Eastside Dave. I gotta be honest, your forearm hair is really annoying me tonight. It looks like an Arab beard and a hairnet. <laughs> I don't like it. You're a hairy mug. Yeah. Anyway, babe, what are you plugging? You know, I'm just here. At Christina Palumbo on Twitter. All right, listen, babe. And she doesn't like foreskins. No, I could do without. It's been real, it's been nice. Oh, but it gosh. hasn't been real nice. Oh. Uh, if everyone knows how we're gonna finish this baby up. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, fuck. Ready? You know no, the catchphrase? Oh, yeah. that in your cheek? We all know. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Chippy Kaye for the muckers.